My deepest apologies for not being able to join the battle. Ventrinia was something of a hassle. Waiting for you, of course. And cleaning up. Ventrinio attacked me. If it's any comfort, he didn't suffer. The closer we got to Bale, the more obsessed he became with Tiernok, and with harnessing Tiernok's power, just like Gadflo did. That's why he had to be stopped, and why we need to talk about our mission. Betrayed you? Never! You forgot the mission when you died. We're running out of time. I'll explain as we go. Lead on. I'm right behind you. The winter court was still as fallen snow as the jester danced and capered. Juggling knives and torches, he sang to his lords and ladies, but none smiled. Not an eyebrow raised as the snivelling jester imitated the king. Not even when he took the crown from the Fighting at your side, just like the old days, before he died. And our people became a sacrifice for Tiernok. Carry on a duty that has been the ancient must stay sealed away at any cost. The world must never realize the terrible power Tiernok offers. No piercing bird song nor heated word could find its way between the branches. Quiet thought prevailed until Gadflo shattered our land. The two Arthur's crimson axes chopped the forest for arrow shafts, and Tiernok's prismier spires rose up to consume what remained. Now our forest is shattered, and screams of warfare fill its bells. When Gadflo's army arose, we recognized Tiernok's tainted influence. Only a force like her could warp eternal creatures like the Fae. So we came to infiltrate Alabastra, find Tiernok, and seal her away forever. If you couldn't stop Tiernok, she would use her pawns to fully escape her prison and the world would be her new plaything. You had to try, even though the Fate Weavers said you were doomed. As always, the Fate Weavers were right. The greatest heroes of winter have always fallen from the Bale's Pale Vows, from Pietra the Keen to Hulgan the Hungry. When the Tuatha claimed dominance over us, heroes arose to the and called up Tiernok's rock. In a second, I lost the other heroes from the When I saw you had come back to life, I wasn't sure how much you remembered. I couldn't be certain you would keep our secrets. I considered killing you then and there. Nothing personal. You would have done the same to me. But then I saw what you had become. I saw the new powers you wielded. And I saw how useful you could be.
would come here to bathe in the colors of the midnight gardens. Last time you came here, you were destined to die. This time, your destiny is up to you. Now we have a chance to finally complete our mission. Let's put an end to Gadflow before his bargain frees Tianok on the world. This must have been a lot for you to take in at once, but I need you to be clear on who you are and what you need to do. A lot has changed since you were here last. It isn't going to be as easy this time, and last time it killed you. She's a creature with incredible power. A dragon. But she is no simple lizard in some child's tale. She has a power rivaled only by the gods. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Alpha sealed her in the Amethyn between this world and the world of magic. And there she went mad. As her prison weakened over time, she was able to tempt Gadflow into helping her gain enough power to break free. And if she escapes fully, it will mean the end of all mortal life. Tianok's revenge for tens of thousands of years of imprisonment. That's why people like you and I have dedicated our lives to keeping Tianok secret from the world. We were supposed to keep Tianok hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tianok away once more, even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you planned to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone who knows the truth of Tianok will be dead, and Tianok will be sealed away once again. We can return to our duty of keeping the knowledge secret. Assuming that's the life you want to return to, but if you refuse, then I'd have to make sure you never tell the truth about Tiernok. Of course, I'd rather it didn't come to that, but you would have done the same. What are you, a moonstruck whelp? If you're going to waste time staring longingly at me, 
I'll gladly save us both the trouble and pry your eyes out now. To save our world, Gadflow has to die and Tiernok has to be sealed away. You're the only one who can do it. And you'll probably need to be able to see. Now get in there and try not to get yourself killed again. Lead on. I'm right behind you. Understand, do you? The power of Tyrock is yes. Return to your brain. isn't here, then he must be hiding further underground, someplace closer to the source of the Prismere. Definitely. The war's not over yet. Whatever bargain Gadflow made with Tiernok, it's about to pay off. When that happens, the world will not be spared her wrath. She's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn, but Gadflow's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. Let's go. Mm. Tiernok is held captive deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. eyes upon us. You've used your powers. Yeah. So much. 
Let Gadflow free Ternok. to reseal Tiernok inside the Amethyn. I must keep the secret of her existence from the world. Once Tiernok is pushed back into her prison, these caverns must be sealed. But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tiernok secret? There are things in this world that must remain hidden. If the power of the dragons were widely known, well, you've seen what has happened here. Gadflo tapped a fraction of her power. He upset the great cycle of the Fae and waged a genocidal war on the young races. Just coming in contact with her power managed to free you from fate's bonds. And if you can turn that freedom against her, she will have no power over Amalur. Nothing like you has ever existed before. As always, there's no way of knowing your future. If you're victorious, it may be the last time you change the fate of the world. Even if you fall back into fate's weave once her influence is gone from this world, it will be a far better fate than what Tiernok's emergence would bring. That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this, 
Anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go. Stop Tiana from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiernok. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. Let's go. There's no turning back now. lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernach. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. You alone may change what is to come. Go! This place. Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha, and the dawn of the endless winter. Tiernok the Powerful, Tiernok the Merciful, Kuala Fela Tiernok, Kuala Sera Tiernok. Tiernok? Uh, have, have I done well, lady? Are you pleased? Is it... Did I... You have I, served I, your purpose. But I... I have so much more to... Ah! Ah! And now, faithless one, you shall serve yours.
we have known that this would be a new beginning? I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. With stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shea.